I was really proud of our guys today. Uh, I thought probably more than we have all year, our guys stayed together in a tough game and battled and uh, refused to splinter. Uh, I thought our leadership was as good as it's been all year. And uh, we continue to, to fight and battle. Um, and some of the specific areas of the game, you know, hurt us down the stretch. ODU made some big plays, and, uh, you know, that was a difference. But I uh, felt like we played, obviously, close to good enough to win. But that's not good enough. And uh, it's a tough pill to swallow. It's even tougher because uh, of the way that our guys uh, have really bought in and, and, and been locked in on what we're trying to do over the last several days. Uh, I think uh, they've been terrific in that way. Questions again, raise your hand, we'll bring the mic around. Shaka, um, with the game tied, you guys have been down so many times at the end of games with chances to win. What was the play that you tried to drop, and is that the way you wanted it, or were there just too many passes? You're talking about at the end of regulation? regulation yeah. Yeah, you want to get the ball in Joey's hands. He's our best playmaker. And, uh, you know, we had six and a half seconds uh, and wanted to just screen for him coming off. But ODU did a nice job defending it. I believe they switched the screen, didn't they, Joey? Yeah. Uh, and, and, you know, we just kind of ran out of time. But, you know, I take Joey with the ball in his hands, with the clock running down any day. He's made, you know, big time plays all year. And, uh, you know, we just. Uh, we ran out of time. I think a couple more seconds, and we, we end up we would have got a good shot. But uh, you know, obviously, you, in, in in looking back on it, you'd love to have that situation back and maybe put some guys in some different spots. But that's easy to say in, in retrospect. Chaka, can you talk a little bit about the way you guys opened the second half? Maybe what uh, you know what allowed you guys to come out with such a flurry? Well, it's our guys. You know, they they were locked in. They were focused and. I think we knew what we had to do coming out of a first half where we didn't shoot the ball well and didn't rebound the ball well. And I, I thought, you know, when we really play well, uh, it's because, you know, we're locked in on the defensive end and we're really, you know, geared up to get stops. And, you know, I haven't seen the numbers or the, uh, the tape yet, but I would say that at the beginning of the second half, we got probably six out of eight stops. And that's what allowed us to kind of build a lead there. Uh, but you knew playing against a good team that they're going to make a run back at you, and when they do that, you got to you got to continue to get stops. And you know, unfortunately, we weren't, we weren't able to get enough late. Um, Joey, uh, yesterday obviously it was such a close game all the way, and then you guys go on the big run at the end. When you did that today, you got up 12, and not that not that you stopped playing hard, but did you kind of think that maybe that was the run that was going to put you over the top? No, I don't think that we stopped playing hard. I think uh, ODU just responded well. Uh, they came back fighting, and you got to give them all the credit in the world. They punched us back, and uh, they won the game. So uh, I thought we really tried to stay together, but uh, it just wasn't enough. Joey, when they went to that zone um, midway through the second half, what did that do to you guys on offense? Uh, I mean, it changed momentum a little bit. Uh, they're really good in it. Uh, thought we didn't attack gaps well. Uh, when we did, we scored. but. Uh, we didn't, and you got to give them credit. It was a good call. Shaka, uh, Larry picked up his fourth foul at the under eight, and you put him back in at the under four. How much of a balancing act was that decision as to when to get him back in, when not to get him back in, just, just with that situation? Well, you just want to make sure that he's playing at the end of the game. So, uh, you know, Jamie Skeen did a nice job uh, around the basket today, so, you know, we knew that we could use him to some extent, but. You know, Larry's Larry. There's only there's only one of him, and uh, just didn't want to put him back in too early. And we put him back in. We were able to, you know, keep the lead and, and put him back in with under four minutes. Uh, so as a coach, you got to feel good about that. Um, but again, you know, ODU you know made some big shots and some big plays, which allowed them to come back. Yeah. Shaka, what, um, what problems does Lee present? Uh, he, he seems to be able to do so many different things for them. Tonight he scored a little more than he normally does. You're saying when we have the lead? No, Lee. Oh, Lee. Lee. 
He was terrific. Uh, you know, he he played like you know a senior who was uh, you know desperate to you know to win his next game, and you know he was extremely physical. I think throughout the game, we told our guys before the game that you know it, this is a veteran crew of officials. These are guys that are going to let you play, and they did. And uh, you know Lee was. Uh, extremely physical around the basket. It seemed like, uh, you know, he found his way into the lane on every possession. And, uh, you know, I don't think it was a matter of effort on our part in terms of guys not giving the effort. They tried. Um, you know, Lee just Lee made some big plays. Anything else? Shaka, I know this stings and it's a little soon, but uh, can you sort of give a quick summation of what this year has been like and what you feel you've accomplished and <laughs> what you think you do from here? How much time do you have, Paul? I got the rest of the evening. <laughs> well, you know, it's hard to sum up in, uh, in just a short answer, but the, I, I guess the thing I'm most proud of is the progress our guys have made in terms of their attitude and their approach and their togetherness. Uh, these two guys up at the table with me, the progress they've made as leaders. Uh, you know, I think uh, coming into this year, we were very much a team in transition. That's really an understatement. And uh, I, I think uh, although that transition may not be complete, I think we've come a long way some guys have stepped up and had phenomenal years, you know, both individually but also in terms of their impact on their teammates. So I'm proud of that. Uh, I'm certainly not happy about coming up short today. You know, we had a goal to win four games in four days, and I think that was a very, very realistic goal for us. Uh, and we could easily be sitting up here getting ready for a championship game, but we just came up short. So. Kind of a double-edged sword there, Paul. I'm, you know, I'm really happy about our guys and, and the direction that, that they've, they've gone and that, that we've come, but I'm disappointed with today's result. Anything else? Thank you, guys.